Hello friends, as promised few months back that I will again come for a lecture. Now this is a lecture on introduction to computation fluid dynamics. Fluid that is gas and liquids flow are governed by partial differential equations which represent conservation laws of for the mass, momentum and energy. Now computation fluid dynamics that is CFD is the art of replacing such PDE partial differential systems by a set of algebraic equations which can be solved using digital computers. Now what is a fluid, fluid flow? Fluid flows encountered in everyday life include such as environmental hazards like air pollution, transport or of contaminants, then heating, ventilation, air and conditioning of buildings, cars and etc. Combustion in automobile engines and other propulsion systems, interaction of various objects with the surrounding air and water, complex flows and furnaces, heat exchangers and chemical reactors, processes in human bodies such as blood flow, breathing, drinking and so on and so forth. Now what is CFD? Computation fluid dynamics provides a qualitative and sometimes even quantitative prediction of the fluid flows by means of number one mathematical modeling that is partial differential equations number two numerical methods that is discretization and solution techniques number three software tools that is solvers pre and post processing utilities CFD enables scientists and engineers to perform numerical experiments that is computer simula simulations in a virtual flow laboratory that is virtual flow laboratory now why should we use CFD numerical simulations of fluid flow will enable basically architects to design com comfortable and safe living environments designers of vehicle to improve the aerodynamic characteristics chemical engineers to maximize the yield from their equipment petroleum engineers to devise optimal oil recovery strategies surgeons to cure uh, I mean arterial diseases like computational uh, you know hemodynamics I hope many of them have not heard about it then safety experts to reduce health risks from radiation and other hazards CFD practitioners to make big bucks by selling colorful pictures now I know CFD is a very important subject for people of third year and fourth year basically you will study CFD in your fourth year now we should know the difference between experiments and simulations. Now CFD gives an insight into flow patterns that are difficult, expensive or impossible to study using traditional techniques. Traditional techniques is basically the experimental techniques. Now experiments. Experiments are quantitative description of flow phenomena using measurements. And simulations are quanti quantitative this prediction of flow phenomena using CFD software. Again I am repeating. Experiment is the quantitative description of flow phenomena using measurements. Simulations is quantitative prediction of flow phenomena using CFD software. Now we should also know that as a rule you know CFD does not replace the measurements completely but the amount of experimentation and the overall cost can be significantly reduced. The results of a CFD simulation are never 100% reliable because point number one the input data may involve too much guessing or imprecision. The mathematical model of the problem at hand may be inadequate. The accuracy of the results is limited by the available computing power. Now what is what are the fluid characteristics? Now the macroscopic properties are rho density, mu that is viscosity, p that is pressure, t temperature, v velocity. Now the fluids can be cl classified as viscous fluid compressible fluid, steady fluid, laminar fluid, single phase, inviscid, incompressible, unsteady, turbulent and multiphase. Now we should also know you know we should also know that reliability of CFD simulations is greater for laminar or slow flows than for turbulent fast flows fast ones, for single phase flows than for multiphase flows, for chemically inert systems and for reactive flows. Now let me discuss about you know how does the CFD make predictions. CFD uses a computer to solve the mathematical equations for the problem at hand. The main com components of CFD design cycle are as follows, which I will explain right now. Number one is the human being, which is the analysis who states a problem to be solved. Now suppose you are in a company, you are given a problem, you are given the parameters. Now you have, as an engineer, you have to analyze the fluid flow. That is, you are the analysis. Point number two is the scientific knowledge. 
which is expressed mathematically the computer code software which is a software which embodies this knowledge and provides the details instructions algorithms then comes the computer hardware which performs the actual calculations then the human being who inspects and interprets the simulation results cfd note please note carefully cfd is a highly interdisciplinary research area which lies at the interface of physics applied mathematics and computer science now the cfd analysis has some processes now i will tell you some steps which is required for to you know solve the cfd problem now the cfd analysis process is number 1 is problem statement that which means the information about the flow number 2 is the mathematical model number 3 is the mesh generation you know you divide the body or the domain into you know several nodes or cells or time instants number 4 comes the space discretization then comes the time discretization the number 6 is iterative solver which is the discrete function values then the implemented in cfd software then 8 comes the simulation run 9 post processing which is the visualization analysis of data 10 is the verification that is a model validation now the problem statement what is known uh, now what is a problem let me discuss more about the problem statement you know if you don't understand the problem statement you know you can analyze in cfd number one is you know what is known about the flow problem to be dealt with what physical phenomena need to be taken into account what is the geometry of the domain and operating conditions are there any internal obstacles or free surfaces or interfaces what is the type of flow whether laminar turbulent steady or unsteady what is the objective of the cfd analysis to be performed that is is it computational of integral quantities lift drag number two snapshots of field data for velocities concentration etc shape optimization aimed at an improved performance then what is the easiest cheapest fastest way to achieve the goal you know meshing anyone can do if you know the you know any software like answers fluent or good you can do the meshing but should do it properly the easiest way to do mesh and the proper mesh now if you're considering a 2d aerofoil there should be fine mesh along the curves got it now the mathematical model what is the new math mathematical model it is to choose a suitable flow model and reference frame to identify the forces which cause and influence the fluid motion to define the computational domain in which to solve the problem this domain is a very important phenomena in cfd analysis to formulate conservation laws for the mass momentum and energy simplify the governing equations to reduce computational effort now we can also add constitutive relations and specify the initial and boundary conditions which is very 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 important in this analysis now comes the discretization process the partial differential equation system is transformed into a set of algebraic equations which comprises of mesh generation space discretization time discretization now let me explain about something about iterative solution strategy now the coupled non-linear algebraic equations must be solved iteratively I hope you have studied numerical methods in the previous semesters where you will know what is basically iteration if you are doing if you know the software like CSC++ you will know what is iteration in more details then CFD simulations the computing times for a flow simulation depend on the choice of numerical algorithms and data structures linear algebra tools stopping criteria for iterative solvers discretization parameters mesh quality mesh size time step cost per time step and convergence rates for the auto iterations programming languages there is more cfd codes are written in Fort, fortran many other things like hardware vectorization and parallelization now we should also you know sometimes think about the quality of simulation results because getting some simulation result does not end our work end our task we should also know the quality of the simulation results that is the mathematical model that underlines assumptions, the approximation type, stability of the numerical schemes, mesh type, error, indicator, stopping criteria. Now, the post-processing and analysis. Post-processing of the simulation results is performed in order to extract the desired information from the computer flow field. Now, the calculation of derived quantities, stream function, what is it? We can do the calculation of the integral parameter, the lift, drag, total mass. We can also do the visualization representation of numbers of S images, 
like 1D data, 2D data and 3D data. Now the systematic data analysis by means of statistical tools, debugging, verification and validation of CFD model. Now we should also know some kind of uncertainty and error. Whether or not the results of a CFD simulation can be trusted depends on the degree of uncertainty and on the cumulative effect of various errors. Then you know the errors can be classified as you know acknowledged errors or unacknowledged errors. Now the verification of CFD code is very important because verification amounts to looking for errors in the implementation of the models. Loosely speaking the question is like are we solving the equations right? Then you know uh, you can the available CFD softwares are you know answer CFX, Fluent, Star CD, Femla, Feedflow. Then and Feedflow is to be true, it is open source. As of now, CFD software is not yet at the level where it can be blindly used for designers and or analysis without a basic knowledge for the underlying numerics. Experience with numerical solution of simple toy problems make it easier to analyze trains, looking simulation results and identify the source of troubles. Now I have discussed many concepts regarding CFD and even you all have understood 10% of this lecture. I would be very very happy and I would request all the aeronautical aerospace engineering students and engineers to you know think like an engineer because even if you're getting gold marks 85% 90% you are the topper gold medalist that makes no sense if you're not thinking like an engineer you can never do good in life and no point just scoring marks and marks without having the knowledge as an engineer I will only say one thing please think like an engineer and wait for my further lectures and all the best for your life bye bye